My name is Colt McClendon, aka Havoc, and I'm a professional Call of Duty player. I spent most of my childhood in Oak Ridge, Texas, and then come seventh grade, I moved to the Woodlands, Texas. Me and my friends, they actually got me into skateboarding when I was super young, and uh, we had a bunch of like sketchy ditches that we used to ride, and like then we started riding bikes, and we'd, we'd have these plastic ramps we'd set up and like just jump over random stuff from their garage and come over to my house and we'd have a little game room and we'd play some first person shooters and then they, they would always rage because like if I beat them, like they'd get really pissed off because we were all super competitive. And I think that's where my competitive drive comes from. I found myself hanging out at the skate parks for the most part because that's where all my friends were and I felt like everywhere else didn't really interest me too much. So I spent like six hours a day there for like months straight. I wanted to go pro in BMX so bad. And then I found Call of Duty and had to give up BMX because I didn't want to break my hand. So my family dynamic growing up was really good. My parents were together. Um, I had three siblings. I've always been really close to my mom. She supported me in everything. She supported me in BMX. Um, and uh, once she went to my first event, she thought the event was going to be in some basement. And we went and she fell in love with Call of Duty. And she's been watching every match ever since, all my streams. She comes in my room every day if I'm scrimming. It's like, can I watch your scrims? I would say people call me a mama's boy, for sure. So I started getting more interested in the Call of Duty while I was BMXing. Like I, I would BMX and then come home and play Call of Duty. And then me and my friend from school found something called Game Battles, where we would play 2v2 SMB ladder matches, and we'd try to like get our record better. And I just fell in love with that, and I, I would take days off of the skate park just to play. I didn't really know what competitive was, I mean, I watched Black Ops 2 variant in some events, but I didn't know like how to even get into the scene or anything. So I would just try to get my name out there by playing wagers and tournaments. When I first started playing game battles, I knew that I needed better equipment to go against these like the top guys on the ladder. So I saved up enough money. The first thing I bought was a scuff, and then I bought a monitor and a headset, and my game improved like crazy. And I just kept grinding after that. So the team that I was with on Game Battles had a fourth uh, to go to a LAN event in Dallas, and I had never played Respawn before, so I knew it probably wasn't, I wasn't going there to win, I was just going there for the experience and see what it's like and see if I actually want to like pursue this as a career. So we, I convinced my mom, my grandma got some funds together and we went and we got dead last place. And even after getting last place, I still want to do that after seeing like what it's like to be at an event. The first Pro League was honestly just an experience thing. Um, we went into it not really like we're gonna win this whole thing, more like we're in the Pro League, like let's get better, let's see what we can do. And we actually got to our qualifying match in loser's bracket and we went up against Prophecy, which had the likes of Aix and Octane on the team. And we actually went last map and Llama was left in a 1v1 versus Octane and he ended up winning it, which was just a blessing and I think it was meant to be. Oh God, I'm stressed. He's got all the time in the world, and there he takes it! They're on their feet, and isolation is coming! After Black Ops 3 Champs with Complexity, I went into a free agency, and Nameless from EG hit me up with Naga and Study, and they said, like, you want a team with us? So I thought, like, this is the team, like, this is where we're gonna, this is where I'm gonna finally, like, get that top placing. And the first event, again, we got top eight. So at the time, I didn't really have any more friends from school because they all went off to college. And I was living with my older brother and he would be home for three weeks and then he'd be away for three weeks. So I was super lonely. I got into a really bad like depression and then it affected me like really poorly. I actually quit streaming at the time. I didn't want to tell my teammates that I was going through a lot at the time because I still wanted to play, but I just didn't have any motivation or drive at the time. And I didn't want them to know that and then end up making a roster change and then other teams would find out and then I just wouldn't be picked up. So I kind of just hit it under the rug and I shouldn't have. I still feel bad that I let down my teammates, but I think going through that helped me in my career now because like I know how to not go through that again and how to stay healthy and just focus on COD and like being a really good teammate. My reputation after EG was no one believed in me, like at the time, even after I got better and got the drive back, no one 
believed in me and then World War II came out and I didn't have any teammates and I felt like I was starting from the bottom again. So at the beginning of World War II, um, after everything went down, I knew that in my personal life things had to change for me to be able to compete. I moved back into my family's house and uh, they immediately showed me the support that they, they always had in my life. And I got better, I got a lot better, and my motivation was back and like I was happy again. And even though I didn't do anything in World War II, I never even got the championship bracket. I learned more in World War II than any of my time before that in the Pro League for those two or three years. That made me realize that I can be a better teammate and I can be way more valuable to my team, not just with my skill, but just learning and, and doing what I have to do on the team and being open to ideas on the team. I'm way more open-minded now than I ever was. After World War II, I just got a blessing. Like I went through that, I got the knowledge that I needed, and then at the beginning of this game, I got a blessing. Might Maniac, Space Lee, Nagafin, um, and Mox were teaming. Um, and they hit me up and they were like, we want to run with you. And immediately out of the gates, like I was, I told myself like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be dedicated for these guys. Cause like these guys want it. I know they do, I can see that and I want it. My number one goal right now is to just win an event. And that's the only thing I want from myself and for the guys on my team. So my energy is all going towards that. Like we just want to win one. Earlier this year, I went to a Chinese restaurant and uh, I opened up a fortune cookie and it says, uh, your biggest battle will be won with the help of others. And I thought that just like, I got it. I'm not, I'm not very superstitious, but I saw it and I was like, I gotta keep this. All we wanna do is win an event and it says we're going to. I think everything that's happened is the best thing that could have happened. I think it's gonna lead up to an amazing, amazing story at the end. So I don't regret anything.